Hello and welcome to my awesome health journey. Of course, I am Brett Dupree and look how hairy I am. This is my weekly update of how I have been doing and this week was pretty good. Um, budgeting, it was good, which I think is the most important thing that you are here for is to hear to be how well I am budgeting. But I think budgeting is a good way of mental health, at least for me. Um, my working out has been great. As if you watch my video from yesterday, I had three major accomplishments this week. One of my favorite ones was, you know, just getting off, off laying off my back on the bench. That was amazing to me. I was so giddy. Um, my stomach not cramping was awesome. But overall, this week was good. I didn't really push myself uh, on the treadmill uh, speed-wise. I pushed myself floor-wise. I really worked on endurance this week. My goal was to not go below 2.5 miles per hour the entire 20-something minutes, um, generally speaking, on the tread for the two-group class. And especially Thursday and Friday, I hit it. I did that by not going above like 2.8, except for a couple times going three miles per hour, and really working on my floor. Uh, because honestly, with my short, stumpy legs, and the fact that I'm still pretty much not in great shape, I'm not really ready to jog or really push myself super hard, but I really think I can do a good job of raising my floor and pushing up the 3.5. I don't know if I can do four without jogging, but I've seen people in there being able to doing like a power walk at four miles per hour. But again, I have short, stumpy legs. I think that's a that's a little jog for me. Um, yeah, so I didn't have a lot of injury. I did have a lot of uh, lack of motivation this week. I think it's because, so there's a shortage of Monjero out there. And luckily I still had two, uh, two pens from Ozempic from when I switched from Ozempic to Monjero. And so the last two weeks I've been retaking the Ozempic. And I forget how unmotivated I feel on Ozempic. Ozempic zaps my motiva motivation to do things. I no, no, I noticed that more with Ozempic. And I can really feel it in the last two weeks. It's just like I don't feel like doing much. And doing things can be a chore. Even though I did clean my apartment pretty well. Uh, last week, but just it's harder to do things. And a lot of times when I just go to the workout, all I can think of is how much I don't want to be there. And I don't in a way. I wish there was like a magic pill I could take and be in great shape and everything. And then I can eat cake all day. But that's just not the reality of the situation. You just have to embrace the reality that if I want to live a quality life, I need to work out. And if I want to live a quality life, I, I need to work out consistently. And the only way I found my way to be consistent is to go to Orange Theory. That's the only way I have found for me. I'm sure there's people out there. I mean, there's plenty of people I follow on Instagram. I'm just thinking of one person who goes to Orange Theory. I've never met them. I just see them through Instagram. She runs like a maniac. I have no idea how she does that. No idea anyone does that. I don't like exercise. I wish I could say I do. I wish I felt like, oh man, I can't wait to exercise. But no. Um, but again, making going there my goal, making my numbers my goal has been very, very helpful in getting me to go there. It's just, you know, thinking like, I need to go there. I want to do 300 workouts by in June. Uh, I hit 250 last week. Oh, my 300th to be June. I did 17 workouts this month. Uh, my previous high was 15. I wanted to average 15 at one point, and that's my goal for the next year, which um, April 23rd is start of the new year for me at Orange Theory. My goal is from April or May to next April, through next April, to average 15. Um, I'm going to mention this in my two-year Orange Theory, but... My first year, I averaged around 9, nine like 9.8, and I did like 11, 11 point something this second year, almost 13, so 12, I think, almost just over 12. So yeah, my goal, my main floor is 12, 
If I hit 12 a month, that means I am doing what I need to do to live. And 15 is just, you know, trying to get into better and better shape, which I feel like I'm doing. I, you know, I was able to go on the floor. I, in doing more things and bending. I remember when I first started, I couldn't bend. Now I'm bending a lot better. I'm doing knee things better. Still not great, but better. And yeah, I'm still working my butt off, so. That's fine. Uh, my mental health this week was okay. I got about a loneliness, you know. I just miss being in a relationship. I miss all. I miss being in love mostly. It's so much fun. I, I loved it. It was great. Just have you know all the things that go with it. It's awesome, and I miss it. I really do. Uh, but yeah, so this week I just missed it more than usual. I think I just allowed it to hit me. More than usual. I don't know. Um, so th- that probably helped in sac- sapping my motivation to do things. Um, yeah. But, you know, I made a video. I did do things. I kept my apartment relatively as clean as it was last week. And it wasn't a bad week. It was a good week. It was a fine week. Uh, sometimes I think I'm hard on myself. Because I want to be farther along than I am. But I think, like, a year ago, uh, I'm doing better than I was a year ago. And my goal is nice year to be doing better than I am now. And if I continue that pace, I'll just continue getting better and better until age finally hits me around hopefully 70-something and starts making a decline. That's, that's, that's what I'm hoping. And then, you know, I'll be able to upload my consciousness into a robot body. And then all my problems will go away. So, yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to. Robot Dupree. Well, anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you for who you are. And, of course, you are worthy. And thank you for supporting me.